What determines where the fat goes in our body is really uh, a very interesting question. We know that genetics play an important role. Uh, Waist-hip ratio, that is this ratio of intra-abdominal to subcutaneous fat, is genetically determined up to about 70% uh, of the determination. And so if your mother had uh, big hips, you're likely to have big hips. If your father had a big belly, you're more likely to have a big belly and so forth. But it's not everything, and we don't know all of the factors that contribute. One of the kinds of research that we're very interested in here at the Jocelyn, in my laboratory, is to try to determine what makes these fat cells different, and can we somehow capture that signal in a way to turn some of this detrimental visceral fat to have properties more like the beneficial or less harmful subcutaneous fat. I should say, however, that being overweight, whether it's central or peripheral, is generally not good for diabetes. So. The first thing is to lose weight in all of these areas, but of course, if we could preferentially lose that intra-abdominal or visceral obesity, that would be the best of all.